Hey everyone! In the first video of this series, we laid the foundation for reading railroad signals with the basic three-headed railroad signal. If you haven't watched that video yet, you need to watch it first to follow along in this video. Now, the signal heads are atrociously expensive, some $20,000 or more. So do the math. If you're lighting up 100 miles of track with CCC lights in both directions with signals every two miles, it adds up in a hurry. Now, that track for the most part is just straight high-speed track. There are no switches or sidings. So to save on costs, the railroad will remove one or two of the heads. Now remember how the two lower lights were read as placeholders? Well, the signals are exactly the same. You'll just imagine the placeholders, which I'm going to leave in this picture with the two heads faded out to help you to remember how to read the signal. This is a clear signal, proceed at track speed. This is a clear to stop signal. Proceed at track speed, preparing to stop at next signal, which will be a stop signal. A flashing yellow on this light is not a slow signal. Why? Because remember, this is the same as a three-headed signal, but with the two lower heads removed. So this is the high-speed signal head. Do you remember what a flashing yellow on the top head was? Advance clear to stop. We can proceed at track speed. Next signal will be a clear to stop. The second signal will be a stop signal. Now, one thing to clarify before we get into the reds. When the signals are stacked above each other like this, or this, that means that signal is under direct control of rail traffic control. If the heads are staggered, they are not directly controlled by RTC, they are controlled by the automated CTC system itself. The lights are controlled by relays reading the traffic on the rails. Single head masts are generally not controlled by RTC, they are simply controlled by the automated system. The single headed signals that are controlled by RTC have an A plate on them. Now, whether right or not, I always liken this to an absolute signal. So, if a single head is red, that is a stop and proceed signal. You stop, then proceed at restricted speed. But, if the signal has an A plate, that is an absolute stop. You stop at that signal and wait until it changes or RTC gives you specific written permission to pass that signal. You remember how I talked about the system being designed as a fail-safe? Well, the CTC system is tripped by the train making an electrical connection across the rails, which are connected to an electrical circuit. If that electrical circuit is broken in any way, uh, a broken rail or broken wire, for instance, the CTC lights all turn red. So. This can be a real problem if your super expensive train has to stop every two miles because there's a problem with the system. Time is money. We get paid to ship cargo, not park the cargo on the rails. So they put an R plate on the signal mast. This is a cheap fail-safe upgrade to the pre-existing system. If the signal is red, the R plate upgrades it from a stop and proceed signal to a restricting signal. The train still has to be on the lookout for other trains, broken rails, etc. But now we don't have to stop at the signal. If the R plate falls off or is covered in the snow, then the red signal reverts back to the safer stop and proceed signal. It's a fail-safe upgrade. Now the R plate is sort of like our red lights on the multi-headed systems. It's a placeholder. You ignore it except when the signal was red. Basically, you, you look for the most permissive signal. The only signal the R plate could possibly improve would be the stop signal. All other signals allow you to go at track speed, which is faster than restricting speed. 
so the R plate would upgrade the red signal to a restricting signal. At all other times, it's ignored. With two headed signals, there's a number of combinations you could see, but liken it back to our three head system. The second head represents the second head on the three headed signal. So imagine that the third head is there only as a red placeholder, which you would ignore. And all of the signals are exactly the same as the three headed signal. So here is your clear signal. This is advanced clear to stop signal. This is a clear to stop signal. If both heads are red, the position of the heads now tells us what to do next. If the heads are positioned vertically, this signal is controlled by RTC, who is instructing you to stop and not proceed. If, however, the heads are staggered, that is the automatic system, indicating there's something going on up ahead, most likely another train. You must stop at this signal, then you can proceed at restricted speed. Okay, that wraps up this segment. You've now learned the basics of the foundational three-headed signal, the two-headed and single-headed CTC railway signals. In the next video, we're going to introduce advanced speed signals. <laughs>